All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, this is David. I'm here at Casino Quest, and I'm going to go over a new system. I call it the Noli Press. Uh, it is uh, sort of named after my grandfather, who was a former dean of science uh, at Penn State. And so uh, he was an inspiration for me, uh, helped me develop some of my math and language skills as a young person. Uh, so his name, uh, nickname, was uh, Noli. And uh, for those of you who want to check him out, there's actually an award uh, named after him, the C.I. Knoll Award that's presented um, at Penn State, even to this day. So good for you, Grandpa. All right, keeping your memory alive, sir. All right, here we go. So uh, for those of you who um, have, we've had a couple people ask me about uh, doing a, um, you know, pressing and not or, so the triple ox is basically focusing on a single number. Clearly, other numbers roll, so this is sort of the and system. So in this, in this system, we're gonna connect the five and nine and six and eight, they pay the same, so we're gonna work them up together. We're gonna avoid the four and 10 for right now. Eventually, we'll sort of spread out, we'll do that as well. But for right now, let's say I only wanna invest $22 a hand. We're gonna start this hand at, uh, on $5 units. It's very simple. So it starts out with a little power pressing, okay? So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna put in the investment. So in $22, okay? We're gonna start on the outside with the nine, all right? So let's assume it really doesn't matter what the bet, uh, you know, what, what the point is. Again, I typically do not bet the pass line unless I have to shoot because I don't wanna be committed to pacing odds. I wanna be, I wanna fix my investment at, um, you know, whatever it is. In this case, it's 22, okay? Um, I get a lot of questions about come bets and this type of thing, so like, um, I know that uh, Combats offers you know, a mathematical opportunity on the game, but it's just really such a grind. You gotta hit two numbers, but we'll, we'll have those bets. There's some progressive combat systems that I really enjoy. I'll introduce those at a later time, but okay. So let's start. In this case, I've got $22 across right here, represented right here. This is my investment. This is my first payoff. The nine has hit. This is hit number one. Now this time, I'm not calculating, I don't care that uh, just to hit the nine. In this respect, I'm, I'm working on two numbers. The five and nine are connected. So I'm only gonna, I'm gonna reference that here, okay? So the nine hits, it pays $7. In this case, now this is an end system. I'm gonna throw in $3. I'm gonna add $3 to the pile here, and I'm gonna press both the five and the nine, okay? So that's hit number one. Hit number two, uh, real simple. I'm gonna get paid $14, and in this respect, I'm just gonna press them each $5. And by the way, many of you may have already played this system or some, some version of it. I see this quite a bit. Um, but anyway, so we're gonna take $4 back. Uh, we don't need to press that up. This is not a triple luck system. So we're gonna take $4 off of our investment. As you know, we are now in 21. Guess what? Five and nine hits again, and we're out the hand, okay? So five and nine hits again, I get my 20 bucks, $21 from that investment, and I have now broken even, my bets are paid for, I can now do whatever the hell I want, but I'm gonna show you what I do real quickly with each of these numbers before we move on to the six and eight. So in the and system, again, this is betting, when I say and, I mean we're gonna press the nine and the five, okay? Not just one number. So the next time I'm gonna get paid the 21, I'm gonna press them both to a quarter and I get a dollar back, okay? So that just looks like that, okay? I'm still in this hand. Now here's where I now take the next bet because I'm not investing so heavily on one, I'm gonna take the very next color that I get paid. So here I get my first green, I'm gonna take that as the same bet, all right? The next, the next bet, I now have $35 out. I've also even for the hand. This is where I'm gonna literally throw back $15 and I'm gonna go to $50 each, okay? All right, the next hand, I'm gonna get paid $70 if the five or nine hits. I don't care which hits, okay? Could be the five, could be the nine, doesn't matter. In this case, I'm now going up units of a quarter and taking this as my profit, all right? Let me get some black out here because it's getting interesting. It's getting interesting and this is why I love Vegas so much and I love table games so much. Okay, so the next bet is $105, okay? 
I now have an opportunity to go to, pays 105, I now can go to $125 each on these numbers. Okay, now some of you are asking, David, uh, the next color I would get paid. So I would have taken the first 105. The next one I'm gonna press $50 each and go to a hundred and a quarter each. Simple as that, all right? This now pays $175. At this stage, I'm actually going to press them both up. Look at this, I'm gonna to go to $200 each and take a quarter back, okay? So that's where I get there. So now I've got a $200, five and nine. Lots of options to go from here. You may already know these bets pay $280. I can now split the black, go to $300 each. And we can go up very quickly if we want to, or we can start taking some bets, go up in some smaller units, this type of thing, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna roll this back. We're gonna go to our initial $22 inside. Now remember, I'm keeping it inside because I only wanna invest $22 on, on the hand. And as you know, these are, the, these are the numbers most frequently rolled. In some cases, I'm, I'm just out having a good time, don't wanna risk a lot of money. I may just keep with the $6, six and eight. And this is where this next system gets interesting, okay? So let me put my $22 investment here, okay? There's my $22 and let's start. So remember, I don't care which six or eight hits. This is a and system and here we go. So in this case, seven bucks, right? The six or the eight hits, I'm gonna throw in five, all right? Adding five to my investment. That's gonna make this look like 12 each, okay? 12 each. The very next hit is gonna be $14, okay? Now, there's two ways to go with this. You can either, you can split this and press them each one unit. So for example, in this case, I would get $2 back. And, uh, oy vey, look at this. And then they go to $18 each. I get $2 back, boom, take that $2 out. The next hit, if we're keeping in line of the six and eight, pays 21. So we take out this 25 and I'm still net negative $4, but not a big deal, right? Not a big deal at all. So here's an interesting next move. If you happen to have a six and eight for $18 and one of them should hit, guess what you can do? You can throw in $3, okay? Which takes both of these bets to 30 bucks. Okay, so if you start at $18 each, you guys can work the math out at home, but now you're at a $30, six and eight. Okay, remember, if they're $18 each, okay, and you throw in just $3, if one of these hits and you throw in just $3, okay, you can take them both to 30. And the reason for that is you have uh, 18 and 18 is 36, plus you have a $21 payoff, making 57, plus three is 60, voila, $30 each on the six and eight. And then from here, everything starts getting very interesting, okay? One of them hits again, you can go to 35. Remember, I'm collecting my first color, okay? The next hit, I wanna go up on both of them, right? So I get paid $35. I'm gonna actually throw in a green that I just got, right? And I'm now gonna go to 60, okay? From here, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to 90, okay? Then I'm gonna collect my first black at 105. Brilliant, okay? Then I'm gonna take my next 105, okay? Uh, and what am I gonna do here? Oh, fantastic question. I'm gonna throw in $15. I now have 120. I've got $90 on each of these. Divide this 120 in half is 60 plus 90. I now have $150 for each bet, and you're like, David, I don't believe you. There it is, $150, look at that, $150, okay? It's just that simple, it's almost too good to be true. Of course, you need the dice to cooperate, they don't always cooperate, but this is a simple end press, and I'm gonna put the worksheet on Patreon for those of you at our $10 or higher tier. Okay, from here, it's, it's, 
It's not very, I keep saying it's very easy. It's not very easy, all right? So here, here's $175. I'm gonna take that bet. I may take that bet. Or, or I may throw in a nickel, just a nickel, okay? Because a nickel, 180. Now I get to press each of these bets up, $90. 90 plus 150 leaves me $240 for each bet from 100, from 150. Look at that. Someone asked me today how I remember all this math. It's not so much about the math. It's, it's really about having done this forever. So it, it comes to me. Like for a minute, a, a second there, I was like, uh, I wasn't even so sure of myself. But then I'm like, screw it. Let's just do it. All right. So now we're at 240 each. And from here, sky's the limit. So many opportunities. 240 pays $280. Okay. At this point, I can just, I can just go right to 300 each and still take some money, still take some money. Nice chunk of change right there. Now I'm at $300 each, okay? The next bet, each of these, each of these, either one of these hits, I'm getting paid $350. And this is where I might take one, but I also might split one. So in this case, I can still take $50 change and go to $450 on each of these bets, okay? $450 is going to pay 500 and a quarter. And I'm going up a little higher on the six and eight because we get more excited about the six and eight. It's a more common number. You have a better chance of hitting these more often. And uh, at this point, I mean, the sky's the limit. I can go 800 each. I can go seven, I can go 750. Or let's see, do I have enough to go 750? Oh no, I don't. I got 375, I got 675 there. All right, so let's say we go 600 each and we take back some money because you're like, David, I want to get paid. I don't believe you. The number's not going to hit that much, but maybe it does. And if it does, you need to be like, dang it, I could have been there already. But now we're at 600 each. Now, when these hit, um, if, the, if I ever get to $600 each, right, I'm getting paid 700 bucks. At some point, I'm going to take six, take 100 back, and I'm going to go to $900 each. Just like that, okay? And $900 each, 900 for those of you at home, pays 1050. And now you're at easily at a thousand dollar table limit. So you could, you know, quite easily go to 12. There's 12. Take a nice little bit of change here. And if you happen to be at a thousand dollar table, you're at table limit and you're just collecting $1,400 a pop, right? Now here's where it can get even more interesting if you got a 5,000 or 2,000 or 3,000. So now you can go up units and units for you now are $600. How fantastic. Okay, inside cap. Everybody wants to know, okay, what's the move? The move is hand off the inside cap so you never have to and boom, just like that, all right? And now you're at $1,800 each, which then goes to $2,100 each and boom, you can keep going up. One of these days I'm gonna do like a whole high limit uh, game for you. We have a few people from our Dice Master course that'll be checking in and we're gonna do a, a whole bunch of scales so you guys can see how these checks look and how these checks move on the game. And there you go, that's the introduction uh, to what I'm gonna call the Noli Press. Uh, it's a very simple 22 inside using and, so either the five and the nine are getting pressed at the same time, or the six and eight are getting pressed at the same time. And uh, that way you have the opportunity of hitting either number, and hopefully um, you get to win some money and get a score. Thank you so much for checking in. I hope you like uh, this uh, little uh, strategy update, and I look forward to uh, helping you next time. Take care, guys. Bye.